Hi, I'm Rachel Spencer, a registered dietitian and OncoPowers Director of Nutrition. The ketogenic diet, or keto diet, is a high fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrate diet. It is designed to change your body's primary fuel source from carbohydrates to ketones, which are a byproduct of fat breakdown in the liver. There are several different variations on the diet, which include more or less carbohydrates, typically less than 50 to 130 grams of carbohydrates a day. Cancer cells rely on burning glucose, a carbohydrate, at much higher rates than non-cancerous cells. By reducing the amount of carbs eaten, and therefore glucose in the bloodstream, it's proposed that cancer cells would be stressed and cancer treatments would be more effective. Ketogenic diets have also been shown to reduce fat mass and insulin levels, which can lead to an anti-cancer environment within the body. In the majority of studies on this diet, in cancer patients, it was shown to be safe and well tolerated with no increased serious adverse effects. Cancer patients were able to continue on their treatment while on this diet, and most people found the ketogenic diet reasonable to follow for short periods of time. For patients who are on PI3K inhibitors like PICRE, a ketogenic diet could be quite useful. A mouse model showed that a ketogenic diet increased the effectiveness of this drug in cancers like pancreatic, bladder, endometrial, and breast. And there's an ongoing study to see if there is a similar effect in humans. Other potential benefits of a ketogenic diet have been shown for brain cancers. Brain cancers, um, the cancerous cells cannot use ketones for energy, but regular brain cells can. Several studies have shown positive benefits for progression-free survival and tumor size in gliomas and glioblastomas. On the other hand, a successful therapeutic ketogenic diet is a lot of work. It requires limiting carbohydrates to 30 to 50 grams a day, about as much to, as two or four slices of bread per day, and can make dining out or eating when feeling unwell very hard. Ketogenic diets are lacking in whole grains, dairy, and most fruits and vegetables because they contain carbohydrates, and there is a very real possibility that a patient could develop nutrient deficiencies. These foods include many antioxidants and phytonutrients and fiber, which have known anti-cancer benefits. A ketogenic diet often results in weight loss, which can sometimes be loss of muscle and bone mass. Cancer patients are at high risk of malnutrition due to their high energy needs, nutrition-related side effects of treatment, and fatigue levels. Inducing weight loss and restricting the kinds of foods allowed could lead to the development of malnutrition, which is known to lead to worse cancer outcomes. As a ketogenic diet is high in fat, there is a risk that it may worsen cardiovascular markers like cholesterol and triglyceride levels. If not planned correctly and completed under a dietitian or physician's supervision, a keto diet could easily become a bacon and cheese and beef diet, which would likely lead to worse cardiovascular health. Overall, there is no one diet, one food, one supplement, or one nutrient that can entirely cure or prevent cancer. The emerging research around the ketogenic diet in cancer is interesting, and there's reason to believe it may be beneficial in certain cancer types or certain populations. There has been evidence that it can make a few types of cancer, including leukemia and breast cancer, worse, so caution must be taken. Overall, the clinical data is not strong enough to recommend its use broadly in cancer populations. Until that data is available, following a healthy, plant-based, anti-inflammatory diet that's rich in whole grains, lean proteins, and brightly pigmented fruits and vegetables, like those diets that are recommended by the American Institute of Cancer Research and the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics, are going to be beneficial for most cancer patients. If you are interested in starting a ketogenic diet, please speak to your care team first so they can determine if it's appropriate for you and to help make sure that your plan is a nutritious ketogenic diet.